and second trimester symptoms this video is way overdue because i am very much so pregnant okay i'm 30 weeks right now today is january the 8th sunday and y'all um yeah i just been slacking so <laughs> this video is way overdue um every sunday i hit a new week so 30 weeks today I have 10 weeks left oh my god it's just going by so fast so I just wanted to get this video out here because I told myself 2023 I'm going to record 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 and it's like the second week of 2023 and I already put one video out so it's a vlog y'all can check that out if you want um but yeah so we're gonna go over the first and second trimester symptoms and then I also have a what's on my baby registry video coming up because I finally finished my baby registry and I know some of you guys were messaging me asking me if I have a baby registry because you want to send me some stuff so I will link it below um, in the info box um, in case you do want to send me some stuff because I know some people said they did which I really really appreciate um, you know it takes a village to raise a baby so um, that's linked below and my shipping address is on there as well. Um, I have a question and answer video coming up soon also and I have my third trimester symptom video which I'll probably do like, like later towards like when Mason comes. But anywho let's get on to this video because it's long overdue. So my first and second trimester symptoms. So the first thing I want to show you guys is that my big sis Kaya got me this book and I hope y'all can see there's a, probably like a little glare on it because there's a photo but it says my pregnancy journal it's pink because I love pink I'm having a boy though but she got this um, book for me before I even knew what I was having so this is my pregnancy journal and baby Mason is right here on the front this ultrasound is from when he was I believe 14 weeks in my belly so this is like my favorite ultrasound of him um he just looks so tiny it looks like he's sucking his thumb and uh, like sucking his thumb and praying or flipping over or something it is crazy because like I feel like most ultrasound pictures I see the baby is like the other way like flipped over and he's just like upside down but it's okay he got the flipping from me okay so I just really like this journal I'll link it below she got it on Amazon but I like it because you can insert pictures in it like if you do a bump update picture you can put that in there um, inside it has like the discovery doctor's visit first second third trimester the plan and the arrival so like for all my children that I have because um, I do want to have more kids in the future I'm gonna get a separate one for each one of them so yeah so this is Mason's even though it's pink <laughs> I'm just gonna make all them pink because I like pink so let's get started okay so um, I'm just gonna go through the discovery real quick and tell you guys and then go over through like go over the symptoms so when I took the test I took the test on July 14th 2022 um, it says, why did I take the test? Well, I missed my period, okay? So, I missed my period and I was extremely tired. Um, I felt nervous, happy, shocked, scared, so many emotions. Like, I feel like I would have had these same emotions if I was like 50 years old still. Like, I feel like nobody can ever like really be ready for a baby. Like, you can prepare, but I feel like it's like a learning process and I feel like you learn as you go so nobody knows like every single thing so and that's like with me like I'm a planner so I like to plan things out and this is something that you know I can't plan like every se single step of the way during this journey so like 
I want to know what he looks like. I can't see what he looks like. I have to wait. I have to be very patient. Like, I don't know if he's going to be sleeping all night. I don't know if he's going to be a crier. Like, I don't know all that stuff. So it's like stuff that we have to figure out along the way. So, yeah. Um, how I told my partner. So I told my boyfriend, Ralph, in person, of course. And I showed the t I bought a bottle and I put the test in the bottle and I showed it to him and he was happy and I feel like he was a little shocked but can't be that shocked because you knew what you were doing um <laughs> so I feel like he was happy um and he's like super super happy now y'all um and then we celebrated by taking another test <laughs> and he got me some flowers so yeah so that was the discovery and then um, in here, which I really like it, it says like the announcement and my feelings. So the first people I told were like my family and my close friends and their reaction was that they were super supportive and they were excited. Like every single person I told was very supportive. Nobody gave me negative energy. None of that. Actually, I don't even think I got, I haven't even got any negative energy except you know random people on the internet that always have to say something but <laughs> other than that I did not get any negative energy um and then how I announced it to everybody else um I told people I'm close to in person like I said but then I announced it to the world via social media so Ralph and I went to Cabo in October and we went like on a baby moon and so we took um, baby announcement pictures there which were so beautiful and so I announced it in November on Instagram and like Facebook and like YouTube um, using those pictures and stuff and for YouTube I'll link it below but I have a sit down video of me announcing that I'm pregnant uh, the first gift I received was this was one of them this book by my big sis Kaya and a baby boy gift package from Under Armour. So if y'all follow me on Instagram, I did have a like six month collab with Under Armour. And I told them I was pregnant like towards the end of my collab. And they sent me this cute little box that had like a baby blanket that you could swaddle him in, a baby swaddle, a book, a bear, a teether, and a hat. And it was so cute. So that was like the first gift that I got. And my feelings, okay, I'm excited about being a great mom because I will be a great mom. I already know that, okay? Um, being a great mom and starting and raising a family, this is something that I always wanted my whole entire life, you guys. I wanted to have a family and be a mother, okay? Um, and I am excited about watching him learn and grow and achieving milestones in life and I'm already a teacher so I'm a kindergarten teacher and one of the things I love about my kindergarten teacher job is that when the kids come in in like August at the beginning of the year and between August and the end of the year in May you see so much growth with them it's so crazy and it just makes me very proud and I just get excited that I'm able to help them and witness the growth like throughout the year so I just know with my children, with Mason, that I'm going to be so excited and I'm just going to love seeing him grow and all the little things he learns and does and stuff. I'm so excited. Okay. Um, yeah, what I'm nervous about is not knowing what to do all the time. So I just feel like usually I'm very in control of things and sometimes like when you have a baby you don't know what to do like I just think about like even delivery like I never delivered a baby before so it's like people can tell you like how it might be or how it might feel but you don't know as a person because you haven't been through it yet second time around you will have an understanding an idea of what's going on but the first time around you don't know what you're doing when we take him home we bring him home from the hospital I don't like we have an understanding or idea but we never done it so it's like we have to figure things out but of course we have like you know my parents his parents family friends that can help us and support us so yeah so 
Uh, I'm going to talk about the first trimester symptoms. So the first trimester are weeks like 1 through 16, I believe. So month 1 through 4. So I didn't have regular symptoms. I feel like people have or talk about a lot. Like I never threw up. Um, I never got nauseous. So the biggest symptoms I had were like I had headaches. Oh my gosh, the headaches were. So I remember I was seven weeks pregnant when I had to go back to work um so uh, first of all going back to work I mean your teachers are already stressful and tiring and then uh, being pregnant in the beginning makes it even more so uh, my headaches were so bad and I like never ever get headaches so I had really bad headaches for like two weeks and then um you can take like Tylenol while you're pregnant. I think I took Tylenol like two or three times, but I really try not to take any, you know, drugs or painkillers like while I'm pregnant because I just want to make sure, you know, Mason's like as pure as he can be, I guess. So the headaches and then I was so exhausted. So even before I was going back to work, um, weeks five and six, well, I guess four or five and six because I found out before I found out I was pregnant like that day before I was at the gym and I was super exhausted. So I was tired weeks four or five and six, like just tired from waking up. Okay. And then seven weeks, seven, eight, I was really, really, um, I had really, really bad headaches. And then my eating was pretty much the same. It was crazy because I did lose weight in the beginning. So my starting weight when in, before I got pregnant was 168. And then like even going into the second trimester, like right before the second one, I went down to like 165. And then I went, no, 163. And then I went back up to 168, which was so interesting to me because I wasn't, I know like I wasn't throwing up or anything and I was eating pretty much the same like I always made sure that I had um, like proteins and you know some green vegetables and stuff like that so I'm not really a big snacker anyway so I like to eat meals so my eating has been the same um, yeah so headaches tiredness um, and then that was pretty much it for like the first trimester. Like my senses, like the smell, like I could still smell things. Like nothing really upset at me, like upset my stomach smelling or like turned me off. Um, I would say like it was meat. Like I think first trimester meat was something like I didn't really want to eat that much of. Um, I still ate it. Like if I had Chipotle, I would get like a salad bowl and put meat in it. But like I used to like love lamb and it's like even now in my third trimester I don't want any lamb like maybe because I make it and I know what it smells like before and that smell is just I don't know it just kind of like turns me off but um I haven't been eating that much like lamb or like steak like that but I do eat like a lot of seafood and chicken um turkey and eggs y'all eat so many eggs okay so yeah and so the second trimester um i think like oh my gosh like weeks 9 10 11 y'all i was so this might be tmi but constipation was real okay and like i usually i'm usually very regular i don't have an issue with that but it was real during that time and i was so confused i had to like talk to my mom and she's like you need to drink some prune juice um, the doctor said I could have like Miralax or um, what's the other stuff called? I don't know. Whatever you can have while you're pregnant for constipation. Like I tried all that and it just wasn't working. So like I really stuck to like prune juice. That really helped. And I made sure that I had like a balanced meal. So eating a lot more like salads, leafy greens, green vegetables like that played a big role um, I did switch my probiotic so now I use ritual the pro prebiotic and that really helped a lot too but yeah it was it was a hot mess okay 
So <laughs> I'm glad like the constipation is like kind of over with. It's not as bad like as it was in the beginning. Um, so um, for a second trimester, I know people say like your first trimester is the worst one and then the second one it's like better, you get your energy back, blah, blah. blah. Oh yeah, also in the first trimester it was really hard for me to work out. I was really tired um, and I just did not feel like going to the gym or anything. So once my second trimester hit, I was finally able to like go back to my regular workout routine. I had more energy. I wanted to go out. Like before I didn't want to go out anywhere. I don't know. I feel like the between the first and second or the first to like mid second trimester is like really weird and then you start your belly starts growing and it's like some clothes fit some don't and it's like do I look pregnant or do I look bloated and for weeks I was just looking really bloated and so it was just really hard for me to find something to wear and I really didn't want to go out honestly so I was like in the house most of the time but um like after we came back from Cabo in October we went October 28th through November 1st or 2nd after we came back that's when like 20 to 24 weeks I feel like that's when my stomach started to pop like my belly I didn't look bloated anymore I just looked like I was pregnant and so my stomach popped and the pelvic pressure is a real thing you guys okay nobody told me about this nobody warned me but that pelvic pressure is a thing and I was like, what is this? Like, I went to the doctor because I didn't know what was going on, okay? The baby starts growing and there's more pressure on your bladder and all that down there. And it's just like something you never experienced. So I was very confused because I've never been pregnant. So I'm like, why do I feel like this down there? But the pelvic pressure, I feel like, when I talked to some people, they were like, you already have it. And I'm like, yeah. And then, so I guess some people get it early, late, mid, whatever, but I got mine at like in the middle, like of November and it just got, it was, it was bad. Okay. Like, but now I think I'm used to it and I had to like find different ways to like help or cope with it. So I know like, I feel my best when I work out. So when I'm in the gym and I'm working out and moving around, I honestly feel better. I feel the pelvic pressure most when I'm like laying in bed and I get up. It's like, oh my gosh, pressure. Or like if I'm sitting down for a long time and then I get up. But if I'm up and moving, it's pretty much okay. And then I did get those like um, birthing balls or like yoga balls, medicine balls, whatever, um, for work. So I have one at work. And sit, so instead of sitting in a chair all day, I sit on that ball and I looked up like different pelvic floor exercises that you can do. There's a bunch of exercises on YouTube. I looked up a bunch of exercises I can do to help with that. And so throughout the day, I'm just like in the chair, like moving around like this and stuff. And uh, that also helps and also helps with like your labor and delivery as well. That's what I read. So. Um, and then my students are always like, what are you doing? And I'm just like, this is helping baby Mason, okay? And so they're always just so curious of like the things that I do now. So um, yeah, so the pelvic pressure is very real. So I would say like the second trimester, like I did get my energy back. Um, but the pelvic pressure, like I feel like my first trimester was better than my second because that pelvic pain is no joke. But yeah, so during the second trimester, I also, um, did I find out the gender then? That was, no, I didn't. I found out in the first trimester still. The second trimester, I did like more testing. Um, they did the anatomy scan. So it was like a longer ultrasound, which was cool. And I got to see him move and uh, he was literally on my bladder kicking it. So before you have to like drink some water can't use the bathroom so I guess they can see like the baby better if you have a full bladder but y'all I was laying there and Mason was just like kicking the life out of me and I had to use the bathroom so bad but he was so cute in my belly I'm gonna put um my 20 week ultrasound picture up here um but he was so cute in my belly just kicking and of course like 
part of the ultrasound he was laying the like normal way and then he turned to the side so I saw his back and everything and his little bottom and then he flipped over like he was praying or something again and I saw like his spine and then his little butt and then his leg he reminded me of a frog for some reason <laughs> but it was so cute um but he was like they were saying like he moves a lot but he's very calm like he's a calm baby he wasn't doing like sporadic movements or whatever but also when we came back from i think when did i feel that i think like when we came back from cabo i started feeling him move so like around 20 it was between 22 and 23 weeks i believe i felt him starting to move in my belly and of course like that early nobody else can feel him from the outside but I, kept, I was like Ralph Ralph I feel him move but he couldn't feel anything yet so he finally felt him move like a few weeks ago um and now Mason is just like moving 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 everywhere and he always moves when I'm like in bed laying down after I eat or if I'm just like you know sitting here calmly and uh, he starts moving he doesn't really move that much from working out or like you know walking around or being active and I think that's because babies like find it therapeutic if you are moving around it helps them like go to sleep or relax which makes sense because like when they're out here in the real world but even crying baby you're like holding the baby like moving around you know rocking back and forth and that's like comforting and common to them so it's probably the same thing as if as if they were in the womb so yeah so he's very very active now uh, when I was in Philly two weeks ago I was lying down and I literally felt him like turn like Ear. and I thought he was just like flipping around but then I had a doctor's appointment I had my 28 week appointment um, December 30th and the doctor i asked the doctor i was like can you tell me which way he is and so she fell around and he's head down now which i definitely feel um lots of going to the bathroom now but that's my third trimester video so yeah so everything is so good so far um those are pretty much the only symptoms that i have i feel like my pregnancy is going very well thank goodness um i'm still very active i still work out um five times a week well four to five depends but I work out I still do my workout classes once a week and I don't know I'm just enjoying this pregnancy um right now I'm in his room and I have so far there's like boxes everywhere so so far I got like we got the crib a dresser I got a rocking chair it's like a glider and I got a play gym. This is heavy. This is a love every play gym, which I'm excited. I'm gonna show you guys this because this is something that was on my registry that I already got. But um, that's the play gym, and y'all, the stuff that I put on my registry for like toys and books and stuff, I want to make sure that it's very educational. So love every is like a brand that focuses on you know the baby and their education and like what they're learning or what they're interested in during you know the time of their life so at like one month two months three months what is going to help them grow and learn during that time so since i'm a teacher i want like really educational things <laughs> and not just plastic toys that you know i can just that just you know they play with it for a little bit and that's it like I want something that stays with them for a long time and we'll be able to grow and learn from it so I'll show you guys that probably on my um what's on my baby registry video because I do want to open it up and look at it and everything so yeah um I also will be doing a q and a so if you guys have any questions please let me know below as well so I can answer them in my q and a video um yeah, so Mason is due in 10 more weeks on March 19th. Y'all, my birthday's the 22nd, so he might come on my birthday, I don't know. But um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for everything. Everything will be linked 
below that I talked about in this video. Um, I feel like my first trimester symptom video was so short um, as far as like how many symptoms I had because I didn't really have that many. Thank goodness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But yeah. So oh, let me show you guys my belly. So I am 30 weeks. So, so here is my belly now and I'm 30 weeks. I know I have so many like stripes and colors on it right now, but here's baby Mason at 30 weeks. So yeah, I only gained, um, so far I gained, I started at 168, now 182, like 14 pounds. So it's pretty good, I feel like. And hopefully the snapback is real, okay? So yeah, so like I said, everything will be linked. If you have any questions, let me know. Please, yeah, please leave your questions below so I can do a Q&A video. And I'll see you next time, you guys. Bye.